evening and welcome to USA Hotspots, the show that takes you to the hottest clubs and cities all over the country. We'll be bringing you live music and conversation from some of the most exciting artists on tour today. Plus, the chance to go behind the scenes to get the feel for what makes each town and each club unique. Tonight, it's Renaissance, live at the Park West in Chicago. Coming up next on USA Hotspots. Well, here we are. The USA Hotspot team decided to wait until springtime to come to Chicago, one of my favorite areas of the town, Lincoln Park. Right over here, the Academy of Sciences. Behind me is the zoo. About 500 yards in that direction is Lake Michigan. But the sun is going down. It's getting kind of chilly. The newsstands are closing down. It's time for us to step into our club tonight, the Park West, one of the most elegant clubs we've been to so far on USA Hotspots. Let's go. Let's step inside. Okay, we're in the lobby of the Park West. I told you it was elegant. We got lush vegetation, we've got fine art in the lobby here. The kind of club that even bands like to play because the dressing rooms are even nice. Our band tonight is Renaissance. Now they've been together for 14 years and they've recorded 11 albums. Of course, since 1969, the personnel changes have been rampant, but they've always managed to retain a very distinctive trademark sound. With their new album, which just came out, they're breaking a little new ground in the 1980s. But again, I think you'll find it is very much in keeping with the Renaissance sound. Let's get down to it now. That live music at the Park West from Renaissance at our USA hotspot tonight. <laughs> Destination out the found a turn to see the northern lights behind the way. Horizon seemed to beckon me. Learn how to cry to young so now I live to sing. The northern lights are in my mind. They guide me back to you. Sometimes it's lonely, mark the space between the days, early hours pass away. I sing to you of northern lights, I sing for you of northern nights. It comforts me in morning dreams I take your hand, you walk with me The northern lights are in my mind They guide me back to you This unfolds a still night air Home again, I look for you and find you there Destiny Home with now, take the easy way, bring me down, making the hard way now. I see, ought to be really free. I miss a moon early, marking the space between the days. Early hours pass away. I sing to you of northern lights, I sing to you of northern.
and this is called Flight.
The dark around is coming down on me.
tried to make her love her own They took her love, they left her there They gave her nothing back that she would want to own Gold and silver rings and stones Dancing slowly off the moon No one else can know she stands alone Sleeping dreams will reach for 
We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Good night.
Stick around for an encore from Renaissance Live at the Park West in Chicago on USA Hotspots. Go! 
see you soon. Good night now. come up with the kind of attitude that you have toward music, which is very different from what you hear on the radio? Um, again, it wasn't anything that we tried to do. It's just the case that when we actually stabilised the lineup of the band, which was about 1972, when I joined Rosani, John Tao, Terry, Sullivan and Mickey, it was just the way that I think we all came from such different musical backgrounds, that the way we played and the sound we produced when we actually started recording, that became Renaissance. Mm -hmm. There was no real conscious effort to, oh, let's be a classical rock group, you know, which right. I never like that tag anyway. Yeah. Just the way we played our instruments, that when the sounds were together, that's what you what you heard. Which I kept winning, so therefore I thought there's something, mm -hmm. something there. So that's when I decided to go for singing lessons. And um, first of all, I went to Shirley Bassey's singing teacher, Harold Miller. And because he only taught in the daytime, he couldn't take me on because, and I had to carry on working to get the money. So he put me in touch with this opera singer and um, she taught me for nine months and she taught me how to breathe correctly and uh, I, in the end I found my own voice. Mm -hmm. I would advise anybody to do that, it's the best thing you could possibly do mm -hmm. if you want to be a singer. But go to somebody that's uh, that kind of trainer rather than to somebody that's a rock and roll teacher. You know. In 1979 to 81, there was a, a large transition period going on within the band. Um, John and Terry decided to leave. They both had enough of music business. And um, we weren't totally happy with our record company at the mm -hmm. time. We've always been, uh, because of the kind of band we are, we've always felt closer to a small independent label where you can get instant sort of um, rapport with the vice president or whatever mm -hmm. without having to go through a whole army of secretaries and various mm -hmm. people. So um, our contract was coming to an end with, with our last company. They were keen on renewing it, but we felt we were just becoming a catalogue number. And because of the change in personnel that was going down, we felt we needed somebody that was sort of really going to nurture us through what was going to obviously going to be for us a difficult period. Yeah. We were still writing and touring, but we looked around till we found what we thought was the right record company at that particular time that was right for the band. And of course, we, until Mike and Gavin came along, we have only actually just stabilised the lineup of the band now. Two previous guys we had, Peter Barron and Peter Gosling, yeah. but only really session musicians. Uh -huh. So um, they never actually were going to be permanent yeah. members of the band by, by their own design uh -huh, and I ours, see. really. So it's the first time in three years we've had a stabilised lineup, which is a relief to a certain extent. How did you all stumble into each other? Well, I put an advert in the Melody Maker, which is a magazine in England, which I'm sure you know of, where where all, all the musicians buy that on Wednesday and turn to the back page immediately and see what, <laughs> see what jobs are going. And uh, Gavin was actually the last drummer out of about 80 that we saw mm -hmm. to, uh, to come down and, and get the gig. It's typical Renaissance, that is. Mm -hmm. The last person is always the one that gets the gig, you know. <laughs> they always do things the hard way.